Hello and welcome back to Up The Villa podcast. Welcome to Transfer Hub, your home of Aston Villa's transfer news, rumours, links, breaking news, signings. You'll find it here over the course of the summer. This episode is brought to you by SofaScore, the best football app that you can have on your devices. So download it for free. It helps the channel out massively. You can scan the code that's on the screen right now or click the link that's in the description of this video. Helps me out. Of course, you'd want to do that. So go ahead, download it, and you'll have a lot of the stuff that I use on this episode today. On your devices, right, Aston Villa are linked with Jean-Claire Taribo from Nice. And some of you that watched my tactical episodes will have noticed that I want a strong, aggressive, aerial dominant defender who can just dominate in the air and stop us from conceding from set pieces. And Toribo is absolutely unreal. He's had a great season. He wins them duels. He wins them aerial battles. And he's a great 1v1 defender. And he can play on that right-hand side at right-back, which is an area that I think we are definitely going to be in the market for this transfer window. So let's have a look then at where this rumour is coming from. It's coming from Le Quip. Aston Villa joined race to sign Nice's Jean-Claire Toribo. Uh, Aston Villa have become the latest club to join the race to sign John Claire Toribo, 24 years of age, who is expected to leave Nice in the summer. Some of you will know that my brother lives in Nice. So I do get to watch a little bit of them. And he is a player that has had a great season and always catches the eye. And I think sometimes... I've been out cutting air today. That's why this episode's coming a little bit later. And we, I got talking about John McGinn. And um, basically, a Newcastle fan was talking about John McGinn. And I was like, I just love him because he's just like an old school player. He just gets stuck in. And, it, you know, when we look at Premier League players, you know, you look at the really good Premier League players that are easy on the eye, that, that play wonderful football, that just sort of like play beautiful passes and, you know, got great touch, etc. And then you just see a player that just gets stuck in and you're just like, I just love it. And um, Teddy Bo is one of those players that really does get stuck in. If you've seen him play, you know what I mean. Right, so let's have a look at some more of this rumour as well. And so, uh, Atletico Madrid, Napoli, Man United, and all whom have previously been linked, retain their interest, whilst Aston Villa, who will next season compete in the Champions League, are now also in the race. This is a very exciting one, and I am very, very excited by this one. I get excited by a lot of the rumours, but generally because there are players that I feel like can do it a real good job and I can see can fit into our team and I think can can work with what Unai wants and we all know that this right back area is one of those areas I mean Euro spirit as well I've got I've got my Euro flag up ready for the content next week as well if any of you have spotted it as well right so let's go to sofa score then the home of transfer hub so make sure you are downloading, uh, scan that code that's on the screen or click the link that's in the description. Right, are we ready? 24 years of age, right-footed, 7.08. We're all ready. We're all ready hitting those good markers. He's got a market value of 38 million. We've got a defensive rating of 78. Strengths are his ground jewels. And as you can see, predominantly plays on that right-hand side. He played 30 games. He started 30, averaged 88 minutes per game. Team of the week three times, scored no goals. Now, these aren't the numbers we're looking at. Let's get to the good numbers. Two assists, right? So, what do we want? We want ball players. We want defenders that can pass the ball. 90% accuracy per game. 95% accuracy in his own half, 80% in the opposition half, 
14 clean sheets. The guy is a brick wall. Right, should we start getting into the good stats? Right, let's go. 1.3 interceptions per game. 1.9 tackles per game. 7.1 ball recoveries per game. Let's repeat that one. 7.1 ball recoveries per game. 3.1 clearances per game. Now, I told you he's strong. I told you he wins his duels. I told you he was good in the air. Dribbles, 64% successful. Total duels won, 59%. Ground duels, 58%. Aerials, 61%. The guy is absolutely unreal. Absolutely unreal. And those stats are incredible. Right. Let's go to Debo. Some of the other stats that we've got. So we've got progressive passes per 90. 5.9 progressive passes per 90. Progressive carries 1.09. We've got blocks 1.15. Clearances 3.29. Absolutely sensational stuff. Sensational. And he's been around a bit. 24. He's been at he's been at Toulouse, Barcelona, Schalke, Benfica, Nice. 24 years of age. Now, we've been linked with Dumfries. We've been linked with Dumfries. Dumfries or Tadebo. There's there's literally no question which one I'd go for. Younger, more athletic. What a player. What a player. I'm all over this one, Villa fans. I'm all over this one. And why am I all over it to start with? It's just because it suits a profile of what we need to start with. We need someone that gets stuck in. And we need someone that wins their aerial duels. But more importantly, I can kind of see where this profile could lead us to next season as well. The big thing as well is moving Conta back into centre-half, which I think is very important. You guys all know that I like Conta at right-back. I like him at right-back. That's fine. But he's better as a centre-half. Tadebo in that role would be unbelievable as well. And what I can start to see as well is maybe a shift to more of an out-and-out out five at the back as well. So you could have Pau, Constant, Tadebo. We could have another player in this area, Luca Dean as well. If not, we just shift and move across of like what we've been doing anyway. And that defensive area can look like that with your player in the double pivot as well. So Konsa is absolutely incredible at 1v1. You then add Tadebo into that 1v1 as well. And it would just be a beautiful, beautiful Defence, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it would be absolutely fantastic. So, Villa fans, let me know what you think to this one. I'm all over it. It would be absolutely brilliant. So, yeah, make sure you like it, subscribe, follow, do exactly what you need to do. Up the Villa.